one of the great ironies of SAT math is th the reason why it's often difficult is not because the content is super advanced, it's actually because it's super basic. And it relies on skills and concepts that we learned way back when we first started doing math. And it calls upon them explicitly. And the challenge is remembering how to do that. You know, we know how to do it because we do more advanced math and it's built into that advanced math. But when we try to bring up these old skills, it could be hard to, to remember them. So remainders is a great example of this. A remainder is basically the answer to the question, what's left over after you've divided as much as you can? After you have a number, you divide it into another number as much as you can equally what's left over. Let's look at an example. So let's say we've got 5 into 15. So I write our little long division thing, 5 into 15. Well, that goes in three times, right? So we put 3 up there, 5 times 3 is 15. We subtract, and we're left over with nothing, right? Because it goes in equally. 5 and 3 are both factors. The remainder here is 0. There's nothing left over. What about 5 into 16? Well, 5 goes into 16 three times equally. So we put the 3 up there, multiply 5 times 3, get 15. We put the 1 down, and notice we can't divide anymore. 5 can't go into 1. So we can just stop here and say this is 3 remainder 1. Alternately, and if you want to go further, in theory you could you know, put a decimal place here, drop the 0, and move on. But we don't care about that for the purpose of the SAT. Your calculator does that anyway. But finding the remainder, we stop here and say, oh, it's remainder 1. What about, let's pick 7 into 55. Well, 7 goes into 55, well, let's see, 7 times 7 is 49, 7 times 8 is 56, so it's going to have to be 7. 7 times 7 is 49, we subtract, we're left with 6. 7 can't go into 6, so this is just remainder 6. And that's it. Notice if I have um, 5 into 15, we said the remainder was 0. 5 into 16, we said the remainder was 1. 5 into 17, well, that's just going to leave 2. 5 into 18 is going to leave a remainder of 3, right? Goes, it's going to go in 3 times, leave 3. 5 into 19 is going to leave 4. 5 into 20, however, is going to go in equally 4 times, leaving a remainder of 0. So notice this pattern that's going to repeat. The pattern will repeat 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, forever. And notice we can never have a remainder of 5 or greater, because if we had a remainder of 5, that just means we can go in one more time. If we had a remainder of 6, we have another 5 there to divide into. So... That's why you're always going to cycle between these. It's just a good little handy thing to know for certain remainder questions.